everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Victoria today we're gonna to be touring this three-bedroom white colonial villa located on the hill slopes of Layan with 800 square meters of living space sat on 7200 square meters of luscious greenery this might be one of my top favorite houses yet this is listed with C property at 85 million Thai baht if you guys would like a tour keep on watching We have this wooden bridge right here that is the entrance of the home. This is your beautiful driveway. You literally drive over water and we're gonna enter through the home. Just look at this beautiful greenery, guys. Come on. Just at the top of the driveway, this is the beautiful home. It looks so, so stunning from the outside. We have the parking garage right here that is shaded and fits about two cars, but also when you're having visitors, we've got such a long driveway up here that cars can park all over um, because I think this might be one of the best houses to entertain. It is so beautiful inside. Also, we are surrounded by nature. Even the land in front of us, it cannot be built on because it is a royal land so you will never have anybody block your site whatsoever and you're very close to Naiton Beach just five minutes away Lyon Beach which is um, also another five minutes the other way around and but you're still kind of in the middle of the jungle a little bit having your privacy but with just a you know a couple minute drives you're able to entertain yourself get all the groceries and find all those entertainments that you need to live on Phuket as you can see we actually have this overhang right here that doubles as a parking garage on the bottom but on the top it's actually the swimming pool it looks so so stunning from the outside there's also so many different ways to walk into the villa we're gonna pick one of them so follow me here we are on the pool deck this is such a beautiful spot in the home you are surrounded by the mountains and tall trees that give us so much shading also when you're driving from the street here i've seen this house multiple times and it looks so so gorgeous outside so i'm so happy to be able to take a tour of this place and also the swimming pool just looks so so stunning it's kind of like an edge swimming pool i love the beautiful blue tiles that they've used um, with the marble tiles on the deck here beautiful white fence all around and yeah looking back into the home it's just gorgeous I can't wait to bring you guys inside just through the archway we enter into this beautiful villa first off we've got this beautiful furniture piece here that's displaying some china on the right here is actually the guest bathroom but it also has its own shower it also combines as like a mud room because you've got the seating area here where you can put all your shoes a closet here and through there we've got the window that looks out onto the mountains um, and just through here a beautiful sink I love the frame of the mirrors here everything is so antique just has so much character to it as well also this little like vanity I feel like it's a very old vanity looks very very cool very precious at the same time and through here is the shower I love the tiles that they've used here it's like a little bit of a pinkish color and also a window that looks out and gives us that nice breeze this is also so close to the swimming pool so if you do want to get washed off you can come here or there's also an outdoor shower let's go back into the hallway here we have the kitchen space so this can actually be blocked off by these sliding doors right here we've got beautiful marble floors this uh, island right here with a granite top beautiful built-ins all over the space the place and also the sink right here that has this like French doors French windows that open up which is just so so cute I mean this 
this whole space just feels so so homey to me this also has a direct access from the outside of the home so where you park your car you can actually walk up from the stairs straight into the kitchen as well and even just you know washing your dishes you have this beautiful view of just luscious greenery now let's check out the living area just across the kitchen through this beautiful arch here we have the indoor dining area so it's also kind of an open space um, I love the flow of this home you guys the breeze up here is so so nice so we've got all the windows open no AC whatsoever but when you're just chilling here the breeze really keeps you cool and it's just such a nice place to relax but here we have this beautiful wooden dining table table with the chairs all wrapped around I love you know the carvings of this chair it just seems very very royal um, as you as I said before there's a lot of breeze so this beautiful lace um, curtain is just flowing right now even the little details of the curtains it's like bowed together instead of having like metal clips instead also some nice little lounge chairs here and this dining room is kind of sunken in a little bit so it almost feels like an outdoor um, garden terrace a little but it is indoors because of this fence here that takes us down and just up the platform is another living area up there so you can actually close this these French sliding doors and kind of make it its own room but right now everything's open it's just a beautiful space and I'm gonna step out onto the veranda I think this might be my favorite feature of the home, having this veranda right here just makes it feel so, so homey. A perfect place to entertain, but also, you know, be at home and chill during the daytime. It doesn't get too hot. You're still getting that breeze from all over because we've got the windows opened all the way up. We've got these beautiful outdoor chairs right here with this rose cushion. I think it gives such a nice, like, um, feel to it just a little bit of an old vintage style and I'm really 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 loving that um, and up here on this platform here we have another outdoor seating and just the veranda kind of wraps around the whole home giving us that beautiful indoor outdoor living feel um, and up here you're literally on top of the hill you can see your whole entire land plot as well as the bridge that you drive over when you enter into the home and yeah now let's step back inside we are now back inside the home this is more of the formal living area um, we've got this beautiful mezzanine on top of us giving us like double ceiling height beautiful um, wind that's flowing all throughout the home as well as natural sunlight and it doesn't feel too small um, this home I feel like it is quite a large space but it feels very homey and um, yeah all like closed together and I love the furniture pieces that they've chosen it's very much antique very royal at the same time on my left here we actually have a study room here we have the study room honestly you can turn it to whatever you'd like but I really love the idea of having a study room in your own home or an at-home office we've got the beautiful built-ins right here you can add a couple books in there and make it a whole book wall as well I love the contrast between this cream cabinet space and like the hardwood floors and the wooden um, office table right here just so much texture and details on it it's you know um, bordered with this wood and then here it's just like this leather it's just very very old unique style um, just even at this lamp or this old telephone right here definitely doesn't work but it is a very cool furniture piece this room also is wrapped around by windows we've got the windows right here that is open to the side garden obviously the sliding door into the uh, the living room area and also the windows that steps out onto your, your veranda um, but now let's go check out the other room 
and here we walk into the TV room. So it's the same vibe as the study room with the windows that are wrapped around. I really love the lace. It just gives it such like an old unique feature into the home. Even just like the tassels here, the green holders for the um, curtains and everything I feel like has been so personalized. Um, even the door handles, If I wanna show you guys this door handle. It is so, so cute. They've got these little flowers on it and just the little details. If you guys look a little bit closer into the videos, you'll see so many details that I've probably missed out. So just keep your eyes out, okay? <laughs> Right outside of the TV room, we enter into this like main foyer with this beautiful staircase that goes up onto the second floor. Also, the molding on the ceiling just gives it so much texture and feels very, very grand. And I feel like I'm in a palace almost. Also, this beautiful light fixture. Um, and also another thing that I want to mention are these beautiful like green scones and this flower shaped lamp that is on top of every single unique painting here even the golden frames I feel like it's one of a kind for sure now let's go up the steps and check out the three bedrooms just past the stairway we even have these French doors that open up giving us that natural lighting but it's also keeping us private by this like lace um, curtain that hangs all the way down onto the floor now that we've made it onto the top floor, we have a nice little lounging area here. We've got the day bed, beautiful lampshades on either sides. And also, as I sh told you guys before, you guys can see all the way down onto the living area. And honestly, this feels like a fairy tale. It feels like I could just be like, hey, good morning and sing to my birds. <laughs> But we've got this beautiful chandelier up here. It looks very vintage, um, beautiful how it's hanging down and the lamps as well. It's reflecting really nice warm light. Also, this wraps around so you can walk onto each of the bedrooms by going around here, which has a nice feel to it. But we're gonna walk into the master bedroom first. We've made it to the master bedroom. And guys, just look at this. Every single like door handle is a little bit different. This one's a little crystal one. It's just so, so cute how thoughtful it is to have different types of furniture pieces and just these little details. It really makes the home. Now we've got the bed right here. We also have this window that actually looks out onto the mezzanine out there where we walked into, which is nice because it keeps the flow of all the natural lighting coming in here. The bed is facing towards the cabinet here that's holding up the TV. On either sides, we've also got the doors that take us out to the Romeo and Juliet balcony, which is incredible. Another day bed here, um, and also a whole terrace, which I will get to, but I wanna walk you guys first into the ensuite. Through these doors, we've got a walking closet. These cabinets actually double as a full body mirror as well. And we have a nice vanity space here with marble countertops, a huge mirror to get ready. And also a little door here that takes you guys out onto the Juliet balcony, which is just so luscious. And through here, the master suite. In the master ensuite, we've actually got this bathtub right here that is lifted up by this platform. It's got the windows that looks out onto the mountains. You can actually peek through and see a little bit of Lyon Beach as well. Here we've got the sink, beautiful mirror that is framed by this like gold vintage frame, beautiful scones and this flower looking lampshade that is just so, so cute. Um, through here, we've got the shower. The shower also even has its own window that looks out onto the greenery. It is such a private property and it is a little bit further away from you know all the chaos you're not really bothered by neighbors you literally have no neighbors you're just surrounded by nature so if you really are into that this is just such a beautiful home to really be here with your family or start a family i feel like now let's go back onto a little hallway and check out oh no you know where we're gonna go we're gonna go on the terrace let's go 
connected to the master bedroom, we have this terrace right here, a shaded terrace also with sliding doors that can enclose the space if you like, if it is raining. Um, but it's nice that it's kind of a shaded area outside of your um, bedroom, but you're still getting that breeze from up here. So it would be perfect to lounge around during the day. That's why they've set up this day bed right here, some um, swinging chairs as well. And just the view from either sides of this terrace is incredibly beautiful. You can look down onto the right into your swimming pool, your driveway. Um, you can peek through and see the ocean there, the mountains that are surrounding you. Um, they've even got this little telescope here. I'm sure during the nighttime you can see some beautiful stars and planets. I'm not quite sure how to use it, um, but I would love to learn how to use it. I feel like that's a very cool, unique um, feature to have in your home. I think I might have to get one myself. Um, but yeah, this terrace actually connects through um, and is the length of the home where the veranda was downstairs. So we can actually access the guest bedroom through here. Here we are in the first guest bedroom. As you can see, it is all connected. We've got these French door windows that open up, which is so, so cute. Guys, just this curtain right here feels like a fairy tale with the little detail of the bow on top. The bed is right here on either sides. Again, we've got windows that's giving us that natural lighting. Um, all the furniture pieces are kind of going on with the theme of very uh, unique antique. Um, and yeah, just beautiful. Now this bedroom is actually, whoop, this bedroom has a connecting bathroom that takes us into the next guest bedroom. So come on. In this shared bathroom, we've got the sink right here with the beautiful pink marble. Again, um, with the theme of the framed mirrors. And also something that was very unexpected in this colonial home is this like tub right here. So this is a very traditional Thai way of bathing. They actually put rainwater into this tub and you actually shower yourself with just this little bucket, which I did whenever I visited my grandma all the way up in the north because she lived really out in nature. So it's very nice to see this little feature here, but obviously there's also a waterfall shower if you're not into that. Um, but yeah, walking into the second guest bedroom, the same goes on. So many beautiful little features in this room. The bed right here, we've got the closet space here. It also has has a little Juliet balcony on the side there that is just so, so cute. Um, I am really obsessed with these curtains. It just looks like such a fairy tale. It's just these ruffles that are hanging. Also, even the curtain hangers, it's like very, very beautiful with a little gold detail of a flower on top. Um, and yeah, even the differences in the lampshades, nothing is the same really, and it just gives so much character into the home. But yeah, we have officially wrapped up this home, which is so sad, but I'll meet you guys back outside. come to an end of this beautiful white colonial three bedroom villa located in Layan. It is listed with C property at 85 million Thai baht. If you guys would like to know any more information about this unique one of a kind property, click the link in my description box below. It'll take you guys straight to the C property website. And if you want to see more house tours, like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you.